Okay, um, I want to welcome everyone back. This is part two of the Sharpie Challenge. My name is Amanda Alexis, and you're watching Pisces Pisces Illustrations. So in part one, I guess I was talking a little bit about um, celebrity gossip and whatnot. In this part, um, at least in the beginning, I guess I can talk more about um, what I'm creating here. And later on, we'll talk more celebrity um, gossip. So, yeah. So as you can see, I'm outlining um, the flowers with um, a Secura micron pen. I'm not sure what size this is. It's probably like three or four or something like that. I'm not sure. But um, in the last video, um, I added the Sharpie marker first but this time I decided to add the outline to the artwork first what kind of inspired me to do this piece um, is again um, I watched um, a lot of YouTube videos on you know people doing the Sharpie challenge and I was like oh why not I can do this too so yeah and for those of you who don't know me I really like to draw animals um, specifically owls and like turtles and well basically like birds and reptiles I really like to draw those and then felines I think I said this in my last video but you know <laughs> I just wanted to say it again because I really like to draw those things so here um, I wanted to use like the primary color scheme because for some reason I just really like that color that color scheme um, it's very, very appealing to me for, for whatever reason. So, yeah. And after I finish this piece, I'm thinking about turning this into a an art sticker. So you can put it on top of your sketchbooks or whatnot. I'm going to put it on my Etsy store and um, on other platforms I'm on, you know. And even though this particular drawing doesn't seem so big, it's big enough because like it, it took me hours to um, actually complete this uh, particular piece. Um, I really like like very very detailed work um, because to me for some reason um, like the more detailed the better the piece is I don't know I mean I know that's not necessarily true but the more um, detailed and intricate an artwork is the more um, appealing it is for me or to me so but yeah in other news um so just to get into um, celebrity talk well well first I kind of wanted to talk about a few youtubers um, some of my favorite youtubers um, I am just airy and Trey Bills. Well, you know, if you follow either one of them, you know, you know, they've been friends for a little minute now. And they finally got together, I think, I want to say end of December or maybe like beginning of January or something like that. Anyway, she pulled a prank on him not too long ago, <laughs> acting like she wanted to break up with him because she was so stressed. Um, about everything that was going on in her life at the time and he sounded like he was about to cry on the phone. <laughs> it was cruel but it was funny at the same time. I was like, oh my god. I was like, he really, really does care about her. Like, you know. So, that was funny though. <laughs> and very entertaining to watch, I must say. I'm so glad they finally got together. Mm, it took them a minute but, you know. They're finally together, so that's a good thing. And I, um, Ari, she just dropped um, her new single, You Mad, featuring Rich the Kid. And I think that record is so, so well put together. It's a little short for me. You know, I wish it was more to the song, but um, it the song is a good song. The visuals, you know, the video to it is is. It's very good. Um, I really like the color scheme throughout. Uh, it was very um, upbeat, very entertaining to watch. And too bad um, I <laughs> I don't have like an Apple phone or I don't subscribe to Apple Music because I think that is the only streaming platform 
that is on right now. I'm like, why don't she just bring it to Spotify or something? Android uses, you know, we need love too. So, yeah. So whenever you get the chance to, you know, go ahead and go stream her music. Um, it's by Ari, um, and it's called You Mad, featuring Rich the Kid. So I'm proud of her for, you know, finally, you know, getting out there, getting her name out there in the music industry. So good job, Ari. <laughs> So let's get into some celebrity talk. Um, yeah, I wanted to say about this whole Tristan Thompson situation. Okay, after this video, I'm not talking about it anymore. But um, Chloe apparently wants to. No, before I even talk about Chloe, we're gonna talk about Kylie. Apparently, because I've been watching, um, you know, uh, this YouTube channel. Who talks about celebrity gossip and whatnot and they were reporting on Kylie Jenner trying to um, reach back out to Jordan Woods because she she misses her as her best friend apparently and uh, yeah I thought that was a little weird but then I have to think about it. I'm like what if this really all was just a ploy like none of this is real this is just to promote their TV show keeping up with the Kardashians I don't watch that show I mean I've watched it before like an episode or two but it's mm, not really my cup of tea so so I'm thinking this this whole quote unquote scandal was just to get people talking about the show not the show but trying to get people to watch the show when it comes out I'm still not watching it so <laughs> so the whole thing to me I'm just looking at it as it you know it was just fake the whole thing was a setup none of this was real so yeah that's terrible the things celebrities would do to I don't know, get their names out there is weird and I also thought it was weird when I heard um, I heard that Chloe wants to, wanted to get plastic surgery, and she wanted you know she wanted the boob job, the 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 liposuction, and the butt I think enhancement uh, done. But what was more strange was the fact that she wanted high cheekbones like Jordan Woods, like like she has. So I was like, yeah, this gotta be fake. Like, the whole thing, what? That didn't even make sense. This whole thing is just fake to me. I can't. The entire thing is, to me, is was just made up to get more views for the Kardashians. Point blank, period. And that's all I gotta say. But on with the celebrity talk, um, R. Kelly, he has definitely been in the news lately. And, you know, I'm not sure if he's in jail right now or not, but, I mean, clearly he's guilty, right? But apparently, um, some people still think he's innocent. Now, granted, um... Not everybody who's come out against R. Kelly is telling the truth. I feel like there are some people who did lie on him to extract whatever money they thought he had. But, you know, I still think that R. Kelly is um, a pedophile, you know. So, I do think he deserves to be locked up, for sure. And also, um, I'm not sure if anybody else... Well, no, I'm no, I'm sure plenty of people have uh, heard about the Michael Jackson, the what is that, the Neverland um, documentary or something like that. Now, when I saw that mess, like I didn't watch the documentary. That's number one, cause I'm like, this is just a bunch of BS. I don't even know if I'm going to watch the documentary or not, you know. But I just I haven't checked. I'm not sure if I want to, but. They have been trying to drag Michael Jackson for years about this. They never found any type of evidence. 
no clues to him being a pedophile at all. I, I'm trying to figure out what is the beef with Michael Jackson. You know, what, what what's the beef with the music industry? But what what do they have against Michael Jackson? Cause they they're still trying to drag his name, even after his death. He can't defend himself. You know, it's just weird. I don't understand. They're trying to paint him as the bad guy for whatever reason, but I don't believe it at all. You know, Michael Jackson is innocent until proving. You know what? No, he's just innocent. You know, he's dead. There's there's nothing else left. Okay, he's innocent. I don't care what these people are talking about. These two victims, uh, they're not freaking victims. Okay, somebody's putting them up to it, and they're probably getting paid to do it. Anyway, also, I've heard um, things about Lori Harvey and P. Diddy secretly um, <laughs> getting busy. We'll just say it like that. Um, I hope not because that would be so weird because she dated his son and both of them. That would be so wrong on so many levels. So let's just hope not. That's crazy. And not too long ago, people were accusing her of flirting with Jay-Z and whatnot. And I just thought that, you know, that was just a big misunderstanding, you know, a, a big misunderstanding. And now I'm looking back at it and I'm like, eh, maybe she was really trying to flirt with Jay-Z. I don't know. Mm -mm. I mean, she's dating all these um, Hollywood men. I don't know, it's starting to kind of look trashy on her. Uh, shout out to Impressive Channel because she, I think, was it Impressive or was it Daytime Tea Time? I'm, I'm not sure. They kind of covered um, this story. Um, but whichever channel it was on, um, they were, they were kind of making the same point and I totally agree. She kind of looked trashy out here. Um, but they didn't say trashy, but I'm saying trashy. Because <laughs> um, she's kind of linked to all these celebrities. And she kind of jumped from celebrity to celebrity. I don't know if she's actually sleeping with any of them. I'm sure she didn't sleep with some of them. But, I mean, it's not really good for her image. It, it's not. And I hope she decides to um, take a step back and, you know, just kind of chill. Or, or get one just be with one guy, you know, and call it a day, cause, mm -mm. So yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say for this particular video. I'm just going to zip, zip it and I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of this video. And please, 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 if you like the video, please leave a like. If you don't like it, that's fine. Uh, please leave a comment down below and um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring, I said ring, <laughs> hit that notification bell um, so you can get updates on all my upcoming videos or every time I drop a video would be a better way to say that. <laughs> so thank you guys again for watching and yeah, I'm going to let you get to it.
so this pretty much wraps up um, today's video um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope to see you again on my next video and thanks for watching have a good day